A few things that you really have to keep in mind when you're marbling paper using chalk is that you're using scissors to shave the chalk and you need to open them up like this so you need to be careful because they're really they're sharp that you don't cut yourself. You also need to be careful with the chalk itself not to get it wet. If the chalk drops into the water or if you just have wet hands and you go to grab a piece of chalk, once it's wet, you can't scrape pieces off of it anymore, little flecks or the dust, it doesn't come off. So it's, you can still use it for art, but you cannot use it anymore um, to, to shave into the water for paper marbling. Also, you need to remember that you, you kind of have to work quickly because even though initially, and you'll see this in a moment, the chalk dust kind of settles on the top of the water after a little while, it starts to fall down to the bottom and you need it on the surface, floating on the surface for the paper to pick the chalk up. So you have to work quickly. There's one tub at each table. So you also have to be patient, wait your turn. There'll be plenty of time for everyone to make one, hopefully two um, pieces of marbled paper. So you just have to help out when it's someone else's turn and just patiently wait for your turn. All right, so three to four colors. You want at least three to four colors. It's okay if you mix um, warm and cool colors. They're not gonna mix together themselves. If you get um, just too much chalk on it, that's when it starts to kind of make some dirty colors, but you'll see here once I start. So you're just taking your scissors and you're just scraping, can you see all that, that dust? Scraping the chalk, and you kinda wanna turn the chalk as you do that, because if you keep scraping one side, it's just gonna make the chalk break. So just kinda think about that. You don't have to constantly turn it, but if you see that one side looks like it's a little bit um, shaved, a little more curved in than the other side, then you might wanna start kind of turning it. All right, our paper is square. It's about, it's just slightly smaller than your tray here. So you wanna get the corners really good. All around really good. Okay, I'm gonna set that on the plate. Make sure I keep that dry. Let's see, I'll do some purple. Make sure areas where you see less color, that's the areas you wanna hit the most with the other color when you get that color. I mean, it's not settling yet, but like I said, after a couple minutes, and as you get more chalk shaved on the surface, um, then it's gonna become heavier and want to fall to the bottom. Okay, maybe I'll do some blue. And these are eventually gonna be a background to an underwater scene. So if you think you want your marbled paper to have more blue in it, because that is, you know, the color of water mostly, then, then you might wanna add some more blue. You'll have, like I said before, you'll make a couple pieces so you can decide which one you like the best for your background. Then the others you can take home. Okay, I think I'm gonna try for one more color. Do a yellow real quick. Because I have kind of a bad glare here, so it's hard to see all the areas here. But that looks pretty good. Okay.
Here's my paper. Make sure your the side with your name on it is facing up. You need to put your name on it before you start. You're gonna curve it so the middle part touches the water first, and then you slowly kind of drop it down. This makes um, this hopefully will kind of keep the air bubbles to a minimum. They do sometimes occur, so you might have some white spaces on your paper. And then you just tap the corners down. You don't want to submerge the paper. You don't want to get this backside wet, but you want to tap the corners down to make sure it touches the surface. And then you fold it back. And there you go. Set it over here. Okay, now you're gonna go right into the next person without even changing the water. We'll change the water maybe after, oh, uh, maybe four or five different, um, different papers. So I'm gonna go right to it. Sometimes that first one, um, and not always, but sometimes the chalk doesn't spread as much. But then after that first one, you can almost see, see how it's looking more like um, bubbles. Well, that is, again, it's hard to see on the screen, but it's, I can see that the pink is looking more like bubbles here, not so much flex. And this and same with the orange. I think it just kind of does something to the surface after you get that first one out of the way and it, um, it looks different after it. a blue green color see my name make sure that's on the back side curve it touch it with the middle first and then let the other sides fall tap the corners make sure you they touch the surface too and then then you can see how this is a little bit more the marble look like when you're actually using materials um, like the liquid materials to marble paper, this is what it's gonna look more like. You're gonna see kind of the swirls a little bit more. So, and it just sort of depends. Like I said, sometimes it's the first ones that maybe don't spread as much. You almost have to get kind of a layer of chalk on your water, but it's just, you never know what you're gonna get. So it's kind of fun that way. And you will have opportunities to make more than one. So you can choose your best one.